Hello, it's Elena Strombo from SodaTutorials.com, Elena Bang Game name, and tonight I actually want to do a little bit of a uh, demonstration on training. And um, just, you know, it's Elena here, uh, main character. She's primarily an archer. And so I've been working on that. I've got GM'd all the way down to here. I'm going to work on these guys and this one, and then try and bring these up. But in addition to being a um, archer, she does actually have a mage side, a fire mage, based on some additional stuff. So I've also worked on fire magic and, and air and um, I think sun magic as well. Nothing too high. I mean, it's 80 up to 75. These are getting up there, but nothing super, super big. The problem with it is that I have um, you know, a wand and a small knife, and the problem I've got is that um, I can't do as much magic damage without um, running out of focus. I still have to be doing some physical damage. So what I did was I worked on her blade skills. So if you look at this blade chart and how I've set it up, is I, I, I immediately got her general blades up to 80. And then I opened up the entire tree so she's access all of them, but I've kept them at 40. This isn't a main skill. It's not where I want to keep a lot of my focus going to, but I just wanted to have it that, you know, in addition to doing her normal blade stuff, she can do some damage and hang out with a, with a small dagger. Um, I decided to try this and said, well, you know, she carries a wand if she doesn't have her dagger, could I do this in bludgeoning? And I was able to do this as well. So I was able to open up this tree, start up at 80 up here and get everything shipped up to 40 on here. This took me about an hour or so. Now, depending on how, um, how, how about I don't want to do this for an hour and just for a second do it for an hour. I also have my pole arms here which I have started out the base level is 10 and I don't have anything in it. So I'm going to show you how I can get that up to that level and um, do that fairly quickly. I think part of the aspect of doing this is the size of my pool. If you look down here, the pool is at just over 1 million. The reason that is, is the larger the pool is as you use your skills, the more it will apply the uh, exp apply experience to those skills and help it grow a little bit faster so i'm always starting off with a fairly large pool if you have a smaller pool it doesn't go as fast i know that because my newer character eleanor is a polar person and it's taking a while to go through these and trade off much slower than than elena the only difference between it is that she has a huge pool of experience so if you're going to do this get a pool of experience up I don't know how you do it, whether you're younger or older. If you're older, you find, if you're a more seasoned character, you can get more experience just by the level of creatures. If you're younger, lock everything down, build the pool up. I would say at least build it up to 250. Shoot for 500,000. If you can get to a million, do that. A million is where I actually want to keep my pool. So I'm going to go down below a little bit today, which is fine. I'll immediately turn around and bring it back up. So let's see. So we've got this thing at 10. I'm going to set this to train. I'm going to leave this off to the side here. And um, that'll get it so when I use it, I will, um, I will be able to do that. So I've got a training deck. I'm going to equip that. I'm going to bring my other clothes on, which is fine. Um, I'm going to modify it right now. Look, you hear the stuttering? Still that bug. I have a bunch of stuff in here. To be honest, I don't care what's in here. One thing I do is I lock all the slots to the left, and I just have stuff rotating right. I don't even use those. I just care about the things here. So right now, I don't need anything because I have no other cards to use. I just have regular, um, I just have regular um, pole arm I have to work on. So I just got to go swing the spear. Now this one I need level 20 over here to get these open. And this one needs level 20. So once I hit the 20 on this, I can get to here. I'm probably just to save time. I'm going to get this up to 40, then go open these up and work those up and start working them through that. So um, outside of that, um, having my training deck equipped. That's that, yeah. I, um, take a look at my inventory character. Uh, by default, I've got a bow in there. So let's go ahead and pull that bow off. And I've just crafted a very basic spear. Iron, um, I think it's a maple handle. Yeah, maple handle, iron. Um, I happen to get a plus one on it, so it's exceptional. So it's just get your basic, your basic spear. So I'm going to drop it in. It is a two-handed weapon. So we got that. We don't need to see that no more. Don't need to see this. So the other thing is, you need a training dummy. Got to hit on something. If you don't have a training dummy in your house or practice dummy, as they call it, you can go to the Souls Bridge, um, the outskirts. Um, they'll have a 
they have actually practiced stubbing there. If you go to Soul Town, there is the archery butts. You can actually go and beat on those. I think someone said there's some in Resolute. I know there should be some in High Vale as well. Um, so you don't have to own a home or something to get them, but you can't get access to them. Um, you could, I could say, come by my house and use this one, but it's treated like a pet's when I lock, log off. It's no longer functional. It's just there. So um, I'm going to go into combat mode, and there I've got my spear, and I'm going to double click it. Get a little bit closer. Now here's the other trick. Hit the letter T, turn on auto attacking. Look, Ma, no hands. 15, 16, 7, 17, 18. As I said, in the beginning, this is really quick and easy to do. That's it. I can sit here and do this. While she's leveling up, you notice in the right hand corner there, little YouTube icon. If you um, find the content on the channel interesting, useful, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. So, we're already at 30. I know it sounded like I was going to go from 10 to 4, it's going to take a while. But if you look at this, I'm <laughs> literally, what, a minute? I just pretty, pretty much just talked for about a minute, and I'm at 34, 35, 36, 37. People in my guild, you can see my stats go, go what are you doing? I'm just leveling skills. So there we go. So we got this at 40. I want to get this unlocked. Now, unfortunately, what I need to do to get that unlocked, I have to go be the trainer. So we're going to run over to um, Central Brit, which is close to us. There's a red wagon right over here. I'll put my ruby out. It's my traveling clothes. My new one, if you haven't seen it before. I've gone out of the pink outfit, now into this black, and I've got my new pristine spider cloak, which I just crafted today. First one. Yeah, I think actually going to Central Britain to get trained takes longer than actually taking that skill to 40. But I think that really gets involved into the size of the pool. Because um, I don't think uh, my New York just, just learned that fast. And it's not like you get to learn faster as you get older. It's just it, it, the only thing that's different is the size of the pool. So, all right. At least this next one I'll show you because I'll also be swinging because I still want to take that from 40 to 80. I'll also be using the skills that are down there that I can to raise those as well. The other thing you're going to fight with as a newer character to be different is your focus. Um, using your focus is going to be, you don't have as much focus when you're in the beginning part. So um, I'm going to turn down the music so it doesn't have to at least have that uh, stuttery. Um, so you have to fo your focus, you may run out of focus, you got to put your weapon away, make sure you've eaten food so you can regain your focus back. Um, you'll fight with that, but still nothing huge or major on there. So I'm going to kill the music. Sorry about that. Let's see. It's just so much. Uh, I can't care what the music being up. It's also hard because when I'm trying to talk on the camera, as she's talking, it's like difficult when it starts stuttering because I, I kind of stop as I was thinking about it. So here we are in Central Brit. You just want to find a trainer. I don't know where the range, it, I'm sorry, the polearm one. Uh, polearm trainer is in, is he in Arduous? No. Oh, I forgot where that dude is. I'll go look it up if I get to that part to get down the water. I probably won't. I'll probably go to the, I've gone to the, the top one to show the base of the can so that now I'll go into the second one and get that. I'll probably stop it there, stop the video. It's just, you'll be watching me do the same thing. Um, but it will um, at least show you, you know, at least give you the mechanics on how this is done and how it raises up. So, you know, while this is loading, so when it gets when it gets to 80 and then, it's, I, could, I basically call it 80, 40. 80 is in your top one, 40 across all the rest. You've got the, you've got the actual skill tree pretty well in hand. I mean, you can use it effectively. Now you can start picking and choosing things that if there's something you want to keep expanding that skill tree, then you can sit there and go, okay. I want to get this one up higher. 
Um, and really what it gets down to, if you're not at 40, then it's like which ones you want to kind of get to 80 and which ones you want to get to 100. And, you know, and what's the differences between those? Um, at 80, at least you've got your fifth card open, so you have more uses of those cards in your deck. At 100, you're a GM. It's a little bit, it's, it's an improvement, but it also gives you the ability to uh, train others. Uh, Central Grit runs straight up to the castle, and just left of the castle pier is the uh, Adventure Trainer. Right up there. So yeah, so starting out with an 80-40 in one of the trees works great. And then you can figure out which way you want to expand it or not, or if you want to keep it there. Um, for my, for like the blades and for the bludgeon, which is really what I'm using for uh, Elena here, this part is our adventure trainer. Um, I don't know her name. Do you have a name? I do not have a name yet. I can share with you. Well, too bad. Um, okay, so we're going to go to pole arms. Here are these three. Learn this one, and we'll learn this one. So those are up. All that's up, so I can start training those. Now I won't do the walk back through. Actually, we'll just recall back to the to the house. There we go. All right, that here. Yeah. So eighty forty. Then build it out as you want. I'll leave the blades and the uh, bludgeon at eighty forty, and this one too. It's just kind of there. Um, I can't recall if I've done this with the moon tree knit yet. Um, because I've been working on that one, getting that down. I don't think it's fully open, but it's something I have to sit down and actually do. Um, I actually applied this and started doing this kind of technique with the healing tree so I can get down to resurrection as well. So, all right. I wish we could have a training vendor in our, in our town. I don't think you can actually have it in a POT, but we does. Nice. Okay, here it comes, 51. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's stuck at 51. Here it goes, nice. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is bring up, because by default she has her uh, little copper dagger and wand she's when she's in the fire, so I'm going to put the spear back in my hand here. Now if you are working magic and you've got armor on like leather or higher, take it off, put on cloth, put on nothing. Um, you don't want it fizzling when you're trying to train either. So, Okay, so here we are. We've gotten these, this one up to 40. I still want to go. I want this one up to 80. I want to get these up to 40. These are passives, so you don't actively do anything. They just go up as the other ones go up. So, go back over to the practice dummy. We're back into, oh, that's right. I need to switch decks. I forgot my pre-mage is actually a pre-mage back in. I've got to set up the other one. So, we got to take the training deck. Uh, here's where we have to modify it. So, we're going to modify it. What we want to do, and I just kind of keep the keys in our I'll put that one there and this one here. So I'll be pressing the one and two key a lot. That's it. And let's use the current equipment. So now I've locked that to this uh, training deck. I'm going to equip it. All right. Into combat mode. There's my two glyphs down here. Huh. Hold on a second, something's out. It's not right here. Is this out? Alright, let's bring it for a deck. Spear. Push and pull arm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let me try this. Train modify. I'm just going to put that. That's fine. And then I'm going to take my bow out of the hand, put my spear back in the hand. And then I'll go back to my train deck, modify it. And I'm going to use train equipment and should put that to the spear. Now I'm going to equip that. Training equipped. Nope. There. Alright, so let's back up. I don't know what the difference is, something with the armor pieces. But regardless, so this guy can... So he's starting to swing at that. So I'm going to start hitting the one and two keys. Start bringing them up. And as soon as they're available, I'm just going to keep hitting them. And you can see the um, this guy here is going up automatically with every hit. And these guys are going up as I use them. But once I get to 10, I'm going to get an extra one, so I have to wait the entire time for it to cool off. I'm at 50 over there on the one up on top. I'm just about I'm at 9 on the other ones. So get my way to 10 here in a second. And then I'll be able to start hitting them double time. Move this down so you can see where my focus is up here. Okay, so this one's at 10. So I can already start hitting it twice. See? Down just a little bit. So, yeah, as a newer character, it's going to be tough because your pool could go down a lot faster. And it just means you have to stop and rest and let your focus grab up. But on mine, I've got so much focus on it right now. It's okay, I can actually pretty much burn through these and not, not really much care about it. I'm in the 60s now if I'm bladed. I don't know, so this is going to take probably about, um, I don't know, four to five minutes to do. Not that bad for one minute on the first one and about uh, four to five on this one to bring to get all the first two levels of this stuff opened up. Now you can tell I'm starting to go down a lot down here. The reason why I'm going down a lot more is for this one. But as soon as I stop this one, this will slow down again. So I'm only going through the 40s on these. Well, I think all these all have to be, I have to have these guys at 40 to go up on these. So. Oh, I'm working on fireflies, so. If I see it come up, I'm going to cast it. Alright, so my focus is down, so I'm going to come out of here. And I don't think I have a food buff on right now. Those are so what do I got left in food here? I, think I got a wolf surprise left, so I'm going to eat that and get it so my um, focus goes up quicker. Okay. Yeah, now it's going to blocks 10 here. 68, not bad here already. These guys are in the 20s. This one's just coming up fast because this and these three are going, so it doesn't go in line with these. 
Not until I stop using this, and I will block this at 80 and turn off the auto attack. All right, that's close enough. Now they're at 20. I've gotten an extra card, so I have three of these cards for the um, the two ones I'm pushing down here in slot one and two. I think this is push, and this one is puncture. No, fireflies is not required. I said I'm just training that one as well, so I'll just take advantage since I'm really working on that skill too. We're at 73 on the top. Because I'll have the second row all at 40, I will be when I go to the training vendor next, I'll be able to open the next two of the next entire row. This one and this. That one's almost at seventy nine. There it goes, almost there. As soon as it's done, I'm going to lock it at 80. There it is. So that's at 80. I can turn off auto attack because the sword move isn't doing anything anymore. That was just purely to get the one up there. I guess I could leave it on for the 32 one, but um, that'll get there before this anyways. I just look more interesting on the screen too. Yeah, I'm literally just button smashing here on a training dummy. Now, if you to do this in the wild, it's not going to take as much experience because you're gaining experience. But you're having to find animals and fight off and do other things too, so it's just not as fast. It's a trade-off. I don't mind doing these up to 40 on a training dummy. After that, then I want to do them out in the uh, fireflies. So, uh, one of the questions that was also asked is why was I doing it this way? You, ever, you open up your skill for the first time and you go out there, oh cool, I can go do this, and you go and use it, and it's useless. Because it's like a level one and it's not doing much. And you go, oh yeah, I gotta wait for it to power up. Well, at least if I do this, I get these in there, they're 40s. Actually, this one's about to get to 40, so I'm gonna lock it. There it is. These two are locked, 80 and 40. Now it's just normal mechanics and the rest. Um, yeah, you get out there and you go to use it, it's just not effective at all. Like the first time I got rapid fire, it's like awesome, it fired five arrows and they did like this, miss, one, two, and five. I'm like, well, hell, that doesn't. I do more, you know, by myself already um, with regular shots. So it really gets down to how, how effective it can be. At level one, it's not effective, level 100 is very effective. Level 40 is actually it's a really good starting point. I mean, you actually are doing some damage. You can start doing some some work out there and, and, and doing it. So. so that's why I prefer to come here if I'm going to open a tree up and do this. is just to get the easy stuff that's not a lot of experience. Pull it up. Now, I've gone through 18, so 
187,000 experience points here. Let's just open up a tree. So you think about that. This is opening one to eighty, and the rest are at forty. That's pretty good. That sounds like it got a lot there. But understand, if you were to take this from zero to one hundred, it takes one point two million. That distance between eighty and hundred is where most of the extra experience goes. In the beginning, it takes a lot. It's not as bad to get to eighty, but from eighty-one to one hundred is where most experience comes out of. Like literally like 900,000 of it, 900 or uh, you know, maybe even a million on that. So, All right, so we're back up on full focus. I will turn down um, the auto attack. There's no reason for it at all, not even on the right one. So we're at 33 and 31. So... Mm -hmm. yeah. 34, 33, 8. Oh, I missed my fireflies. If you haven't seen the new the heat system, this is what it looks like on a locked car. The, the quicker light that goes around, that's the cooldown. That's the next time you do it. The heat is the permanent the one that lasts the longest on there. That basically, you know, if you have one card, it basically will be the entire thing. If you have two cards, it's halfway. It basically is the cooldown on it. So as soon as it gets past it and the, the card turns white again, then it's at a point where you can use it. Um, this is like, I have one card being cooled down. That's what one card is on here. This is with two use, three, even four. So to get my grace back on all these, I have to wait for that amount of time for them to cool down. You can, so basically it's a locked card, but you can use it one, two, three, four, or five times, depending on the number of cards you have of it. But each time you use it, if you use it in succession, the first one takes so much XP, the next one takes some more, Third takes more, fourth, fifth takes more. So you take the, or I'm sorry, XP, uh, focus. So um, you're, it, it's a higher drain of your focus to keep rifling through that. So you kind of pay a penalty for it. Um, or there's a fee to use it that way. What, so like, if because if it was a locked card, like the original one, it'd just be locked. And you'd wait for the cooldown, and you could, then you could use it. I don't know my fireflies. Um, right now, if I want to use this one, I can use it once, use it again, use it again. I can even use it again. Now it will, it's dark until at least one of the cards have cooled down enough for me to use, which is right there. But that last card, to use this last spot as opposed to being up here, it costs more to do. So it's just the way it works with it. I'm still trying to get used to it. I typically don't have locked cards in my deck. I'm starting to do things like disabling shot and like rapid fire, which I also always want to have up and available to put those as locked and leave the in like slots four and five. And let these be rotating in and out. So I'm playing with it and getting used to it. Um, it's not as bad as it sounded when they were describing it because you can still use the old method where we've always done. Or you could use this new one and take advantage of it. So, Alright, we are at 38 and 37, which means we're close to heading back to the trainer. I don't care about focus at this point. I just bang away. I'm so close. Run, fireflies. And casting fireflies on it. Yeah. See, I need that to be 40. And I'm almost there so I can get to uh, Meteor. That's why I'm casting fireflies. All right, so we got 40 there, so I'm going to lock that. This is a 39. One more. 
There she goes. Okay, so that was it. So we got these all at 40. We can get out of this mode. We'll go back into my uh, traveling duds. Off we go, back to the trainer. So I don't know, so for me personally, I think this method of doing this for, you know, basically, you know, probably just kind of an hour, a little bit over an hour to do this, to get it go to this 80, 40, make it useful, and then be able to continue using it as you want. I think it's worth it. Um, is it the perfect thing? No, maybe not, but it's just something that I found. I've liked it. I've I've now cracked open every, this is the last of the, uh, the combat, uh, offensive combat things I'll be opening up on her. Um, you know, if I have a spear laying around, I want to use it, I can use it just as much as you can use a dagger. But the dagger and the bludgeon made sense because she's a dagger in her main hand and a wand in her second. If the dagger breaks, whatever else, then I can go to it. The other reason why I'm actually doing this is like tonight, again, this is the second time in the last week, I'm out with some people and I ran out of arrows. I go with like 1,800 arrows, and I've blown to my war, shooting like crazy. All of a sudden, I'm sitting there, I have no arrows. I'm like, hold on. I switch into my fire mage, and then I start working working on my fire mage. And I found that actually having my blades in that 80-40 configuration with my, I have a plus 10, a copper dagger, works great. It, it actually works great while I'm casting spells, so. All right, we're almost to Novia. Novia. There's a bandito. Oh, what I was saying earlier. Yeah, some of my guild mates are all going, Carlos, what are you doing? Because you'll see in the chat, like in your normal chat, if you have normal thing notifications on, when your guild mates are leveling up, you know, so-and-so level tailoring to 48. You'll see that. But they'll start watching mine all of a sudden, because I'm hitting like three or four of them at a time. And it's like going, Elena, 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 especially in the beginning. It's just rifling up. They're going, what are you doing? And they thought I was doing something really goofy, crazy, whatever else. I'm like, no, I'm just normal training here. And I didn't realize that you know, that no one kind of understood it, which is actually why I'm actually here doing this video. I'm like, well, if they ask that question, then um, maybe some other would too. So. All right, come on, load scene. Let's go. Oh, I can hear the electricity. Fifty-one. There it goes. Okay, here we go. You can go up to the castle where you can see this little side road. And, I don't know, it feels faster than the other way. Here we go. Welcome back. I'd like some training. Pull arms. Let's crack these open. Sure. Sure. And sure. Thank you, nameless uh, adventure trainer. I need my spear, iron spear, iron spear. All right, so recall. Oh, last one. Let's make some more. I've been visiting her quite frequently for this past week. Mm -hmm. 
if you guys are watching this and don't have this game and you're thinking about it going, you know, why and why, but the load scenes are long. They're definitely not short. Um, right now there is there's a performance problem with it. Every one of the assets, especially the towns like where I just went to, Central Brittany, and our POT, which has tons of housing now, tons of decoration, tons of items, all those things loading just make the uh, the load times really um, a lot more. If I used to go down to my basement, it's a little bit quicker. There's nothing to say it's fast, but it's quicker than what these load times are. They are working on it. Um, they switched the Unity engine, I think, in this last release. It even got a little bit worse. There were promises on their uh, telethon update um, just last week or this past uh, Thursday that they're trying to reduce that by about 50% in the next in the next release. So we'll cross our fingers. This is an alpha release. It's just a point of pain. We've got to deal with it at this point. So right, let's get over here. My dummy's going to come up there. So now, let's see back here. Because... I just added these skills. I want to put those into my training deck. So I'm going to equip my training deck and I'm going to modify it. And bye bye push. And bye bye uh, puncture. And now we're going to work on pull and spinning attack. Oh. Now, because this one's open. It will gain when I use these. It will also gain when I use my regular blades. I will turn auto attack on. Drive this one up. So we're done here. We're done here. We're equipped. There's my spear in hand. Alright, so we're going to start the auto attacks. So this, sorry, this one starts going up. And then we'll start doing pull and spinning attack as well. Now, see, there's only one card for these until we get to 10. That's why it's red the entire time and you can't use it. Once it's completely cooled down, we can use it. But once I get to level 10 on it and I get my second card, that's why you'll see I can do it at the halfway point. So when we get close, I'll point that out again. Get the eight number seven fireflies. Okay, we are in the nines. So this is still going full around. Now at ten, I can start using it halfway. I can use it right when it gets about here. There it goes. That basically is showing that I have two cards in there now. Oh, that's stuttering. There we go. So these are going up slowly now. The one on the right is already at 25. This guy is um, defensive positions, increases damage resistance when a full arm is equipped. So it actually helps your defense. Which is a great, I think it's great. So having that up getting up higher is probably what I want, I want to do eventually. This guy here is just reach how far how far out you can reach with it. So Alright, I'm gonna let it cool down a second here. Uh, 
but you see this guy going up fairly quickly with that wolf surprise. How close am I on sparkles? Sparklies! Oh, very close. One or two more uses for fireflies. Right here. Okay, there we go. Ah, still one more use for fireflies. Oh no, I hit level 40. Sweet. What I wanted there so I can get this one open. I have to go get that one trained. Start getting down here. Eventually I can get down to my little list. I need to get oh I can open this one too. I can get these two open. And once I get this one to 40, I need to get my Will O Wisp. Sweet. Oh, I've got my third card. These are uh, the first one I did. Got my third card open. And this one I've got my third card open. So let them kind of cool down for a second here. This is at 39, so as soon as it hits uh, 40, there it goes. That one's locked. So now I'm going to basically use them three times in a row. So I'm using like the first card three times. Then I'll go back to the second way to wait for it to cool down. And then I'll go for the, uh, so I go once, twice, three times. Then on the first card, once, twice, three times. Now it's letting cool down. Kind of keeps the focus cool, not draining too much. So second card, once twice, three times. First card, once, twice, three times. Now let them cool down. Twenty-five. Mm -hmm. This is where it starts to go down slowly. You think, I think because there's like multiple things going on in the first part, it just seems like it's going faster. Because now I'm just working on these two. It's just... Mm, I'm going to get from 25 to 40. So, I don't know if I'm going to go through in the entire video. You can tell how fast I'm going up right now. As soon as these get done, this is where it really feels like it's slow. So I'm only working on one card. I'm really waiting on one card to to come in. Oops, out of focus. Let me get that back in the way. So, you know, we get to this, like, this party, great, I've got most of the tree, but now I've got to do just one. Probably takes a little longer to do that, and once that's done, then I've got to do this one. I think on this, I know it's on this one, but I think on this one, maybe I have to go find the master trainer. So I have to go to that special guy in one special spot. Um, you can actually Google that. You say, Shroud of the Avatar, where are the master trainers? You'll see the very first link has a spoiler for which city they're all in. So, but that's the base, I mean, just wrap up, that's the basic mechanic of this, is that we sit there, we open up one level, we get that one up to 80, or 40, then we take the next level open up, we get it going to 40, and get that top one up to 80. So when you've got it looking like 80, then 40, lock them down, get the next level up, get these up to 40. You need both these at 40 anyway, so open up this one. Then just work on this one. I would go in and modify that, just put that one out there. Just keep hitting away that once you get it up to 40. And you can do this. Then you can actually say, okay, that's locked. Now pick and choose. That sounds really good as for defensive positions. If I can get that up higher. So just using normal stuff. These guys over here are typically higher in experience points. So they usually take us twice as much. 
Well, this will take 1.2 million to get to GM or to 100, level 100. These typically take like 2.4 million. So, I mean, they're, they're really going to suck down to the pool. I don't have too many of these at 80. Um, in this tree, I've got 73 on this one, 62, 66, 54, and I was bringing this one up. I think in healing, I've got some, no, healing's there, fire, 69. I don't even think on my light armor, I've got anything. I have 77 on this one. So um, this is just speed and movement on that. I think that was just more so to help while or worthwhile. So I'm working some of those. These are some of those like this is 68, um, 60. So those, you know, getting up to 80 is really high as far as the experience pool. The younger character, that's tough to do. Start rounding those up when you have a really big pool later on. I mean, that's something I was going to start working on one of these. I'd get my pool up to 2 million and then work it down. One million is my base, and then the other million is my stuff to burn to draw into this. Because you're going to need it to do it anyway. So, but that's it. So in the end, you want to basically go down this pattern. And I'll finish this off here when I get off the video, so that this tree looks like this one. 80s, 40s, done. You got a good functioning skill. You can go out and kill enemies with that. I wouldn't go PvP with it, but I go enemy fighting with it. And then if you want to, oh, I really like coup de gras. Well, oh, turn it up and work on that one. Or if you've won, you know, some people really like red. Cool. That one inflicts damage that actually does over time. So maybe they'll turn it. I'm going to put this one up to 80. And I'll get this one up to 82. And then I'll go through it. Maybe I'll GM this one. And they can tune this to be as how they want to. But I just wanted to demonstrate how you can do that mechanically and get it done. And get it done fairly quickly. I mean, think about where I'm at in this video. How long this video is. And how long it just took me to do that. Uh, behind the scenes, I had my pool. I just dropped out 200000 on my pool for a million size pool. You gotta get your pull up to do this. So that's it. If you got questions or comments or them on the video, thumbs up or thumbs down. This is Elena Strombo of Soda Tutorials. Now, at the end of this, you're gonna see a video pop up. This is a previous video in the series. Below that's a link to the Soda Tutorials website. And to find out what I've been doing, what I'm up to, what I will be doing. And there's a picture of me in the fairy wings that if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can click on that and do so if you find the content useful and interesting. Thanks once again. Have a good one.